welcome to Skip to Malu, cooking with a Filipino accent. For today's episode, what I'd like to share with you is how to make ukoy. Ukoy is another popular street food. You may also call it shrimp fritter or it's very likened to a shrimp tempura except that it's mixed with some root vegetables. For the street food, they use dried shrimp but for this segment, I am going to use the real makoy, which is the shrimp or the prawns. So let's start. Okay, so for our ingredients, I'm using shrimp or the prawns. And then for seasoning, I also need fish sauce, but you could also use hondashi right there. And then salt and pepper, of course. And then to mimic the real color of ukwe back home, I'm using anato powder. Also, we need carrots. And then we need sweet yam and sometimes I put potatoes but I only have two potatoes left in my pantry so I'm using it. And then for our batter, I'm using tempura flour here. I'm using potato starch to bread my fritter. And this is the most important thing, ice cold water. Alright, so first things first, let's make the batter. First is the tempura flour, then ice cold water. Make sure not to put the ice chips though. That's around 3 fourths cup of water. And then I wanna put their patties. Or if you want, you could use hondashi. It's all up to you or see other seasoning that you have. And then just make a quick stir. Okay, and then also, I'm adding the anato powder just to mimic the color. You can omit this if you want to. It's okay. So, there you go. And then I want to put a little pepper and then salt. Not too much because we already have the fish sauce in there. And then after which, what I want you to do at this point is to put this in the fridge. Just to keep it cold because we want a cold batter for us to for us to achieve a crispy ukoi. Okay, let's let's do that. Then let's just go ahead and fill the perp the sweet yam. I want to just rough chop it because um, I'm using my handy dandy food processor and you would if you don't have any food processor go ahead and slice it um, into strips or matchsticks or you call it julian slice do that but for me I'm just happy to use my handy dandy food processor just like that done So now the next step is for us to mix our cold butter that I got from the fridge. So pour it over our root ve veggies. Mix it all up like so. And then what I usually do is like boil it like that and put the shrimp on top. Okay? So there after that is for you to bread it with the potato starch so let's shake it up like so shake it up shake 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 it up okay just pat it off like that and now let's do the rest so all you need to do is like drop it like so mm -hmm. and then there are chances that the strips, the vegetables will set apart. So all you need to do is just gather it around like so, pour it over. And what I normally do is basically check it if it's already crispy like that. So if it's not, I put it back in. Okay, it smells so fishy, but it's so good cook it a little more and then while that's cooking 
I could go ahead and drop the second one. And they're almost gone. And then after that, we're ready to plate it. This is the sweet and sour chili sauce that you could buy from the store or you could actually make your own. So just drizzle it like so. Just arrange it nicely so. For those of you who want some heat onto your ukoi, you could go ahead and crush this. Or also, you could also use vinegar. But if you want something fancy looking as this, you could do as what I'm doing right now. I love decorating with edible flowers. I'd like to thank my friend Chef Heidi for these flowers. It just makes your plate so pretty. But make sure to use edible flowers, okay? So there you have it. That is Ukoi Ala Malu. I hope you have enjoyed this segment. As usual, you know the drill. Please like, share, and subscribe to this channel. And please let me know that you're around by commenting down below. Hanggang sa muli, this is Malu saying, that's a wrap!